Hello everybody, this is EY Stream, and today I'll be showing you how to make custom titles in Motion 5 for Final Cut Pro X and how you can animate them. So what you want to do in your project browser here for Motion 5 is you want to come down here to where it says Final Cut Title and go ahead and open that. So here you can see it has a type text here box, a back title background, and you don't want to put anything in the title background unless you're making a, like something that you want to always be there when you put it into Final Cut Pro, but we don't want that. And so instead I'm just going to, let's say the text here. Now to add more text, if you want things like subtitles, go ahead and press this and create miniature uh, text bottle. So I'll just put here, subtitle, all right, and done. Now what we can do here now is, I'm gonna make this a bit, look a bit nicer. Don't like that very much. Just go ahead, click this. Uh, let's see, uh, make it bigger, 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 bigger. All right, we'll call it that and we'll get it a bit smaller and we'll get our subtitle here. So down here, click subtitle and you can expand that as well. Mm, we've got to center that, come up to type text here, we'll pull that in. So once you've got uh, what you want for your title in Final Cut Pro, you want to go ahead, double click, uh, obviously highlight a thing and come over to inspector and here you can see um, all the properties of the text now I think I want uh, we could do 3d styles or 2d styles um, which one do we want to do let's go ahead and do I don't know minimal 3d maybe no that's too big we don't want that we'll just go block all right now that's too big so we're gonna go ahead and make the, the size a lot smaller and you see we've got this weird drop shadow here and to get rid of that, you just want to come into uh, Appearance. And where's the drop shadow? Drop shadow here down the bottom. And we can change where it is, make it brighter, uh, change in which direction it comes in. But it looks really weird, so we're just going to turn that off. Hide. And the glow's also on. We're going to turn off glow. All right, so now we've got it like that. And we'll come over here. And we'll change the color, appearance, face. All right, and we'll turn the opacity up to 100%. All right, so I've got my title here, the one I like, and I'm going to go ahead and turn it into, nope, not that one. Go ahead and turn it into 3D text over here. And I'm gonna change this to basic, so you can do that here as well. Uh, we've got plastic, how about blue plastic? Yeah, okay, we'll go with that. All right, we'll center that. And then, let's say, you can also change the depth. That looks cool. Weight, I don't really want it any heavier. Round edge size, you can change the intensity. Drop shadow and glow, we've been through those. Come over to format, and we can change lining, tracking, baseline, scale, offset, all that kind of stuff. Now the next thing you can do is animation. So at the moment it's like this. We come over here, and we come to this little settings box over here, and we've got all these texts. So text animation, text basic, text energetic, text glow, text highlight, text subtle. Now we're gonna go to text energetic. Uh, how are we going to do, uh, how about debris in? Alright, let's see what that looks in. So you can see that looks kind of cool, but I don't, I don't really like that. We'll get rid of that. Um, let's try to find another one. Text energetic. Um, let's go. Tear in. We'll do tear in. Alright, let's see. So we've got the animation here. And what you can do is you can edit it by um, moving here. So let's say I want to start from here. I want to make this a bit uh, longer in duration. There we go. I think it might look a bit better shorter, so I'm gonna go shorten that. And as you can see, we've got our cool text animation. Now what we can do is if we don't like it coming like that, we can also change the opacity of the text depending on here. So if I click the text here, and as you can see, it's like this, and I want it to fade out, let's say. Uh, I'll go ahead, uh, come and click the text here. Uh, where is it? Type text here. And what you wanna do is behaviors, no, filters, uh, yeah, properties. And what you wanna do uh, you want to go ahead and click all of these so that they're all yellow and opacity is the main one we want here. Then let's say by the time we get to 140 frames, I want it to come down to zero opacity. So now let's check this out. So we have our text open and then it fades away. Probably a bit longer and we could do an animation for fade out as well. So let's put an animation here. We'll go ahead, uh, type text here, come over here text animation, we'll just do basic, and we'll do text animation, sequence text, all right, nope, I don't like that, we won't do that, let's find something that can just go there, settings, 
go back to text energetic and we'll do we'll do no what was that what did i do there tadpole out all right we'll put that there and see what happens here so as you can see here we've got a tadpole out and it fades still we'll make it the whole way so we can see that whole tadpole um sequence here let's see from the start so tear in We've got it sta stayed in here, and then it tadpoles out and fades. Now for the subtitle, uh, it's basically the same thing, but I'm not going to go too out all out with this. I'll just click this. Uh, no, I won't actually. I'll start it on zero opacity. By the time it does the animation in, we'll go ahead and... All right, so come over here. Grab that over here. We'll turn up the opacity to 100. Then back over here. We'll hold it. And then by the time we get to here, we want it to fade out. So we'll just go ahead and do that. All right, let's see our whole section here. Come in, probably make that a bit longer over here. All right, let's watch that. And like that. All right, so that is how you make your custom title in Motion 5. Now you want to go ahead and get it onto Final Cut Pro. So what you need to do is come over to, uh, where is it? Share. And come down to, we're going to find it. Where, where is it? save as and once you put it into save as so you want your template name first and i'm going to put it in this uh category you can make other categories here as well choose your theme uh i've just got none here and we'll call this fade in no that doesn't really match it animation in blue all right we'll publish that all right so now we've got that and we want to go ahead and open a uh, final cut So in Final Cut Pro, um, you want to come down to here where your title section is now here. Now I've made a one before called Flyme, and here we go, here's our animation in blue. So we'll bring this over here, let's see what it looks like. And as you can see, okay, okay, we've got our text that we like here, we can make it longer, shorter, whatever we want. So now you can see that we've got our beautiful looking animation title over here. Let it. Where does it fade out? So we can see there we've got our title here. Now what we can do here is add backgrounds and everything just like you would do with normal text. So that is how you make custom text and animations for Final Cut Pro with Motion 5. I hope this video helped and until next time, it was your mouth.